Failure does not disappoint. Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you guys back to my channel. I'm doing a review on the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I'm also doing a review on the Dior Skin Correct Concealer. And I will also be doing a review on the Dior um, Backstage Powder and also the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Lipstick. I will also be reviewing for the first time the Rare Beauty um, Soft Pinch Blush Liquid Matte in the shade Love. And so if you are interested in seeing how all of these products apply and you are interested in my final thoughts on these products, please keep watching. I look on my eye today. I did a tutorial and I will have a link down below or either after I put this video up. So let's jump right in. One of the products I'm going to be um, using today for the first time is the uh, Milk Hydro Grip uh, Primer. By the way, my face is moisturized. By now, it's not a new thing to you guys uh, on here on YouTube because a lot of people rave about this primer. I hope I'm not putting too much. So I like the way it feels. Um, it does not feel, does not have that silicone base feel. It feels just like an hydrating moisturizer, in my opinion. It's drying down tacky which is cool yeah it's getting really tacky I'm experiencing the grip effect so yes um I like the way it feels it does not have that much scent irritating scent so that's one good thing there's no fragrance on it I should say and for the first time I am reviewing the uh, the uh, um, skin glow foundation and the shade that I took was 4.5 W which is warm I'm going to um, put the foundation here to see if it's running or not it's a little runny but not bad it smells so amazing it has this a uh, very mild um kind of like a fragrance scent but fresh Nothing overpowering. I don't think it's anything that's going to even irritate the skin. Um, but it smells really, really amazing. Really amazing. What do you guys think about the shade that I pick? I'm usually not lucky to have foundation to just match my skin at once. But yeah, this foundation looks amazing. So I'm just pressing it into the skin. I'm going to do another squeeze. Foundation feels amazing like i'm crazy over this foundation i am loving the feel of this foundation like i am so madly in love with it i always make sure to bring a little bit of your foundation down your neck so that's what i'm doing and so of course it won't be uh it won't be a first impression look for me with i reviewing a new uh concealer to match the foundation this is the uh skin correct uh Concealer from Dior also and the shade is 4W. So this is the packaging Screw it up and then it has a doe for applicator So I'm gonna use that underneath my eye. Oh, this is a full coverage concealer. I can immediately See that I'll take the uh, KVD concealer brush. I don't think I want to even apply this with a concealer brush I will get a sponge in a little bit um let me let this product dry down a little bit. But I'm noticing something though. I'm noticing a little bit of burning uh, sensation under my eye. I'm not sure about what's causing that little burning. Uh, but I will just let the product uh, soak in for a little bit. So let's blend in there. Blend out this uh, concealer. I'm just adding a little bit because I know the, uh, the sponge is going to suck off. Some of my products are just going in to add a little bit more underneath the eye. So yeah, this is how it's blending out. This reminds me of the um, Hourglass Finish Concealer. It's blending exactly the same way. And I'm not sure as far as coverage. I'm sorry. And as far as coverage, I think it's giving me the same 
pour courage as the hourglass on this concealer you guys can see how it looks with all honesty the hourglass foundation concealer gives me a fuller blurring uh, finish as compared to this concealer because I know when I use that concealer I'm there right away let me blend more and you know set and all that hopefully I will give you guys my thoughts on what I think about it and another thing is the hourglass foundation the hourglass concealer dries very fast this one is not as drying so that's a plus so what I might end up doing is to use the both of them together um, it's very lightweight uh, so I really like that for setting powder today I'm using for the first time also uh, Laura Mercier loose setting powder in the shade honey and I would set that with a damp sponge this honey um, setting powder is really beautiful on, on my eye and with my skin you guys can see how it set that area it's not dry at all but it set it perfectly um, I'm just gonna set down a bridge of my nose where I added a concealer also and also set my forehead that's how we looking so I will go ahead and set the remainder of my face and I'm also trying the MAC um, Studio Fix Plus powder in the shade C8 I'm gonna take my uh, KVD powder brush and I'm gonna set those other areas that I did not set so I'm just gonna leave a space for where I'm gonna bronze and also uh, contour because I am using a cream contour today for the first time I couldn't wait I will be trying the uh, rear, rear beauty um, blush and the shade that I got this is it this is their soft pink blush liquid matte and the shade that I got is love this is their packaging very cute and it also has an applicator so I'm just gonna put pull that right here oops I hope I don't pull too much especially this is my first time trying it I'm gonna use my Sigma powder or blush brush in F10 you see this uh, this can be really tricky <laughs> So let's see, I'm blending it out. These blushes are very, very pigmented. That's why it's a first impression video. I don't know how to use this product. I've been seeing people using cream blushes. I was afraid to try it, but here I am trying it. And I have applied too much. I'm sure <laughs> there's not my, I'm sure I'm not the only person. There's other people that have had the same reaction to <laughs> to um, their first time application of the cream blush but well, it looks good though if I'm honest it looks a little pushy right here on the cheek so let's get in there and blend this baby good for bronzer today I'm trying the new Juvia's Place um, bronzer this is their bronze duo in the shade dark I bet it's too dark for me because I bought it online, I didn't know which shade, shade really matches me. So this is the packaging, very cute as well. Oh, that's cute, that's really cute. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this shade on my forehead. I got a new brush. This is the uh, Pro, brush powder, Pro Brush Powder from um, Sephora. This is the brush number 50. I love the way they package their brushes. Kind of going with very light hand. Not that much. Looks similar to the blush. I tap it off though. Now I'm going to use that right below here. <laughs> I think I'm looking too orange today. I will blend out all that stuff. It's going to go away. So not to worry about it. So tint down the cream blush. I think it still looks good, but to team it down, I'm going to apply Give Me Sun from MAC Cosmetics. 
and this is my first time using the shade give me some guys I haven't forgotten my cosmetics okay when we were in the struggling days um, this brand even though they didn't give us all the shades that we needed but it still gave us something to work with uh, <laughs> Um, so I just haven't forgotten about them. I still try to use their products here and there. Besides that, I love their products. So to clean my contour, I'm going to take the Shea Honey once more. And do a reverse contour. So that's that. See how you clean up that. We just need to blend it up. I think I love this brush. Uh, Morphe has a brush with this shape also. Oh, where would I look? I'll find a brush and show it to you guys. But Morphe has a brush that looks like this also. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and press this in this area. And just use that to get rid of the powder stuff here. But I keep the powder on the eyes because I'm about to do my eyes. So that is the finished look. This is how the products wore on my skin all day today. I started wearing this product about 2 p.m. And it is currently, let's see, where's my phone? It is currently 7.42. 7.42, I started um, wearing this foundation over four hours now. Well... I would say about two o'clock I got done with this um, eye look and my face and as always the camera really don't do justice to these products seriously, like seriously my daughter walked in here and she was like mom your makeup is nice your makeup is popping yeah first thing first I applied the foundation love the way I applied um smart lines not the foundation problem that's i figure out there's nothing i can do about my smart lines okay i don't care what i do it's still gonna set in i apply the foundation felt like skin felt like i had no product on my face lightweight perfect match for more i'm here for it okay I am here for it, that's all I can say. But let's move on um, before this video gets too long. All right, so apparently the foundation comes in 29 to 30 shades, but I was able to get a shade match for me. So that's one downside to this foundation because from what I'm looking at on the website here, there's not a lot of shades for every skin tone. You can see this is all that they have. I got the shade um, 6 neutral. No, no, no. I got the shade 4.5 W and this is my perfect shade um, and again there's nothing else I can say rather than I love it it has a sunscreen in it it has SPF 35 and they're saying that this foundation is a 24 hour radiant wear now you can see how radiant my skin is i also have two of dior's uh, foundation i have the dior undercover 24 hour full coverage foundation i also like i mentioned earlier i have the backstage foundation so um i mean if if i didn't like this one which i tried first i wasn't going to consider buying the second one to try it because you are definitely going to love it just keep your fingers crossed that you are able to find a skin match like I was because there are not much. In addition to using the foundation, I went in with their Forever Skin Correct um, Concealer in the shade 4 debut. So the foundation was 4.5W and I did 4. So everything just really worked out for the best. I went and ordered it online and took the Sis Neutral. But that was too, 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 too. Um, it had a very, very, very yellow undertone and I could not, I could not use it. So the moment I received it, I took it back to the store and got my right, right for shade. So let's talk about the concealer. Um, the concealer is how many ounces? It's 0 0.37 fluid ounce and the foundation is 
30 milliliters which is one fluid ounce so that's basically normal size but the concealer perfect also went very well with the uh, uh, foundation under my eyes here you guys look under my eyes look look here do you see smooth very smooth it apply seamlessly I love the way I apply uh, it was not drying I compared it to the hourglass concealer the hourglass concealer is very 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 nice I love it I think this is gonna steal the hourglass uh, con concealer place but or if I'm using them if I'm using these concealers I'm gonna use the hourglass and I'm gonna use this I'll use them both together because this it's not drying. The hourglass is drying. It's full coverage. This is full coverage as well. Um, I lay it a little bit and then I went ahead and apply it and apply seamlessly. Soft, lightweight as well. After using that and applying all of the other products, I went in with the lipstick. I went and used the um, Rouge Dior um, lipstick in 760 Forever Glam. This is just a perfect color for fall also. I love it. Like I told you, I've been wearing the lipstick for a while. See, it applied nicely. It dry down perfectly. I like this color. It's um, it's a little bit tacky. It's not too drying, like over the drying, like a matte, matte, matte uh, lipstick. And this is a matte lipstick. So I love the formula. This is a really good formula. I'm trying to get one of their lip glosses too. So maybe I'll probably get a red lip gloss to go with this and then get a neutral lip gloss to wear every day because I want to try their neutral um, lip gloss shade that, that I, I've seen at Sephora. I really love that. For my overall face powder, I use the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder. I got the shade in 6 Neutral, 6N, which is neutral. But when I tell you, you see my skin? When I tell you this powder, my makeup was, you know, it was giving, but it was not really giving until I applied this powder. When I applied this powder, I saw the difference and I was, I was like, whoa, this is giving. This particular powder is giving. The powder is about 0.38 ounces. And it is very fine. The uh, foundation, the concealer, and the powder has a very pleasant scent that I love. Not overpowering. Um, I think people with sensitive skin can actually use this product and be okay with it. Because the scent is not... It just smells rich. It smells luxurious. It just smells amazing. And I love it. Okay? So... If you are considering trying the powder also, go ahead and get your thing, girl. So this powder is a perfecting translucent powder for natural radiant blur all day matte finish. I would give this powder 10 out of 10. It did do its thing. It did what it said it would do. Like I said, when I did my makeup, I love it, but I didn't love it until I apply this powder. When I apply this powder, I saw the difference. I saw the blurry effect. I saw how it mattified my face. It just put everything together. It did what it said it, it is supposed to do. And that's just what I'm saying. You won't know until you use it before you experience what I'm saying. Because the camera, again, the camera is not giving you all the details of what my skin is right now. And so, I'm just saying, if you are a woman of a particular age like me, hitting your 50s, you want to pick this powder up because it's going to blur out our aging skin. Yeah, ma? Check it out. Don't say Patricia never told me. I'm telling you now. That's all I have to say. I will leave it there in my labyrinth room. Anyway, um, so that's all I have for the foundation for the deal. Foundation, concealer, a powder, and a lipstick. These are very amazing products. The only cons to these is that they are pricey. But is it worth your money? If you can afford it, I would say yes. Go for it. 
my face has been hydrated all day. It didn't dry down to show any patchiness or anything around my nose or any area. So it's it's just a nice foundation. If you are interested in seeing more reviews, please leave me a comment down below so I can do more reviews for you guys. If it's foundation, concealer, lipstick, powder, whichever one, I'll be willing to do those reviews for you guys. So let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts about this foundation. If you try it, let me know how it's looking on me, if you like it. And I'll talk to you guys in another video.